Hello friends and welcome to another New England adventure. In this video we travel from Boston, Massachusetts to Stowe, Vermont to check out all the beautiful fall foliage even if it was a little bit before peak. The colors were all absolutely amazing either way. And on our drive we stopped at a farm that specializes in both cheese and maple syrup because it is Vermont after all. And they even let us try some samples. We even made some other amazing stops along the way. Once we finally arrived in Stowe, we ate at what has to be one of the best restaurants in the area. We certainly can't wait to go back, but until then, come along and join us as we adventure to Stowe, Vermont. We're gonna get started at our first surprise stop of the day. Let's do this. We actually made another stop by the Quichi question mark gorge. It's just like on the side of the road. Sorry, it's really loud, but people were stopped and it looked really pretty, so we just thought we'd pull over really quick and check it out. We have to be pretty quick because the farm is closing in less than an hour, or by the time we get there, it'll be less than an hour, but we wanted to check it out because it looked really nice. It looks so nice. There's a fence. But it looks so good. You can see some fall foliage too. All right, and then there's also another side and some nice couple told us that there are holes in the fence like this so that you can take nice pictures. The sky is very bright right now, so I, it's kind of whiting out, but it looks beautiful down there. I'm really glad we made a quick stop. Very lovely. Be careful crossing the street though because the cars like it's very, very busy over here and the cars do not want to stop for you even though there is a crosswalk. What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. That's good, yeah, I really I liked it. it. It's very beautiful. Yay! <laughs> they have parking over here and over here, so on both sides. It's part of the Quichi. I am almost definitely saying that wrong. Quichi? Quichi? Quichi. <laughs> That's how the GPS is saying it. Um, State Park, so yeah. It's beautiful. Cute. Wow. Is this how you get to the farm? Lucky for us, we're exactly where we want to be. We arrived at Sugarbush Farm. So excited. We're here. The colors in person, of course, are a bit more vibrant, but I think that's also partially due to the lovely sun right there, but it is absolutely stunning up here. There's a really red tree right there. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's do it. We're entering the sample place for the cheese and maple syrup. Yum. So the samples we got to try here were Mountain Jack cheese, like Monterey Jack cheese, four years aged cheddar cheese, cheese that was smoked with hickory chips and maple wood, and jalapeno and cayenne cheese, they were all delicious, and we learned that once cheese is aged for three years, it becomes lactose-free, which was cool. And we tried amber, rich, and dark robust syrup. They were all delicious, and we ended up buying everything. We found animals, so I got distracted. We're gonna say hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Look at the cat, so beautiful. Mm. While Julia plays with that friend, I'm gonna chill with this friend. He's just chilling. Here's the champion of hide and seek right here. No one has found him yet. He's still hiding behind the barn. That's the goat. Get it, goat. I got to put a cow. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I have a, a joke, so when you watch this back, Good luck. What is it? So here's to the future you editing this vlog. What is it? Can't say, what? but it involves our friend here. Okay. We're gonna do the uh, self-guided maple sugar house tour. I'm excited. Going down these stairs, and we're gonna follow these signs. Yay. Nice little fact. Aging cooler holds 35,000 pounds of cheese for eight years. I just can't get over this view. Staff only. But here it is, like, 
It is not showing up on the camera, but it is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we are. Let's do this. Okay. So here they showed step by step of tapping a maple tree. It starts in late February. They drill a hole and they pound in a metal spout or a plastic spout and they wait for the sugaring weather and they sap collect. Wow. And it's only from February to April because once it gets too warm, the butts come out. They have the spout here with the plastic spouts and the metal um, buckets. Collection device bucket. Crazy. And then they have these giant tubs as well. It seems like they set up a bunch of these metal pipes together so that you can um, connect everything together and then they can all be connected to these lovely tanks. So this is really interesting. This was showing all kinds of imitation maple syrups that you see at the store that people typically buy. That's actually not maple syrup at all. And in Vermont, it's actually illegal to say that something is maple syrup unless it is 100% maple syrup. We also learned it takes four and a half full buckets of maple sap to boil down to one quart of maple syrup. So they have this huge map where you can mark your hometown. And they have just put, this is just in April this year. It's September 30th. So we're marking our hometown in New Jersey. So it broke a it little. Broke off. They so, have so many visitors that they had to include new New England states. Okay, so we're We're like here-ish. Right there, the it. green one right there. Nice. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna mark New Jersey's. I'm gonna mark also like Massachusetts and we're like, Bearish. So we're the, <laughs> the the black purple one. Love That's it. Funny. This machine is where the magic happens. You need to load it with wood every ten minutes. That's crazy. This is where the most serious boiling takes place here in this back pan. Wild. Look at all these little knobs. Seems very Confusing, but very cool. Basically, sap goes from the outside tank to this storage tank, and then down the pipe into this big guy. Since they do a lot of their tapping when it's very cold, they have these snowshoes that they use when the snow's three or four feet deep to get around the woods. Wowza. And here's an idea of what the maple tree spout looks like. They do actually sell these in the gift shop, which is so fun. And I guess, oh, fun. This is like what the little maple spouts, like the little holes look like in the tree. Fascinating. In addition, they also have a maple walk to go through. It's a little hill hike, it says. About 10 to 15 minutes. Cool, to see the maple trees. Okay. Wanna do it? Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. So when you come up, if you go to the left, it's to see the maple trees. If you go to the right, you can see a chapel. We are starting by going to the left to see the maple trees. Ren is already halfway there. You can see all the pipes set up to collect and bring the maple all around. That's fun. We also learned that Sugarbush Farm gets its name because Sugarbush is a name for like a group of maple trees. That's why it's called Sugarbush Farm. Up here you can also see a tree with the little taps in there. Bean, what did we just learn? A maple tree needs to be 40 years old. Before? It's tapped. Yeah, we have 15 more years to go. Wow. If we were maple trees. This is so funny, they have this sap carrying challenge. They have tires in this bucket over here. And they say to fill it with rocks and walk through the tires to simulate deep snow. And then think of doing it with several thousand buckets. And then you'll be like, okay, I understand why these sap makers are a fan of this plastic tubing throughout. All right, let's see. <laughs> it looks like a struggle. <laughs> They have a chapel here and it's so cute. It says, welcome to Sugarbush Farm, the Lord, the land, and 
the maples, the animals, these are our providers. They have a little bell. It was difficult. To, to ring? ring the bell, yeah. Oh, this is so nice. I wonder if they hold, do they hold services here? And here you write like your, your name and the date that you are here. Oh yeah, they have candlelight ceremonies here apparently in the winter. That's so lovely. People even get married in this chapel. That's amazing. That's so cool. I love that. They don't have a pen to uh, write our name. Oh, maybe it just fell. That chapel was so cute. They use it for country weddings as well as meditation. And they said that they're planning to put in like a small pond and a wildflower garden. Wow. Yeah, it's so cute. It is very, very cute. There's a big spider right there. Ah. Two actually, I see well, two spiders. We're in their home. On the outside. <laughs> I love you too, girl. <laughs> so, back in the car. There's a lot of very enthusiastic kids having a lot of fun. <laughs> so we just wanted some uh, quiet so we can film this uh, little outro from Sugar Bush Farms. It was spectacular. Oh, a I A lot loved of it. fun. Yes. The samples that we tried were spectacular. We bought some. We bought, we bought everything that we tried. And hot sauce. And hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the little chapel and the walking trail and the informational on how to actually make syrup was amazing and uh, very informative. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was so amazing here. It was so great. Also a major highlight for me, the farm animals. I love especially the cow that I was calling a girl, but I'm pretty sure it's a boy. And he licked me. He gave me kisses at the end. So... Wow, can you ask for anything better? Yes. I don't think you can. So, let's continue up north. Yes. To Stowe. Woo! All right, but I think along the way, there's gonna be little surprise stops here and there. So yes. let, let's see if we can catch it before the sun sets. There'll be surprises to us too. Yes. <laughs> we love a dirt road situation. We're just, this is how we got here too. Nice little dirt road with some beautiful fall trees. It is so beautiful over here. The water is so pretty. We're still on dirt roads, but you get this spectacular view. So, so nice. I wish we could stop, but there's nowhere to pull over and it's a very small road. So we are over by Tapsville Covered Bridge. There's people taking pictures because it's beautiful. We'll be doing that in a bit. And then there's also like this, I guess, dam that was built. So you also have an extra beautiful backdrop over here. It's amazing. The sunset is amazing right now. Very pink and cotton candy looking with the mountains in the background. Love it. I can't get over this. It looks insane. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. We made it to our hotel. It is 7.30 and neither of us have eaten since breakfast. We're starving, so we're gonna go eat dinner now. There's a couple places we're gonna see if we can go to. We're not sure exactly where, so we'll tell you where we're eating when we get there. You can see the church building over here. At least I'm pretty sure it's a church. It looks nice at night all lit up like that. I like it. I like the logo on the street sign, how it says Stowe. Oh and yeah. How is that? I think it's that church right there. Yeah, it is. Pretty iconic, if you ask me. We are having dinner at Harrison's. This is where I really wanted to eat, but they were booked up for like a month, literally a month. Um, but we were able to get walk-up seating at the patio. We're gonna see if they have any last minute cancellations inside though, just in case. It's so cute down here. It's like a little cabin. Here is a peek at the menu. We actually were able to get a table inside because of a last minute cancellation. Oop, sorry, Bean. Yeah. Amazing. So I got a cheese board because we're in Vermont and they're known for their cheese. And it also came with some fruit and nuts. And I think it's at a local jam. And I got some calamari. This is amazing. That looks so good. So amazing. I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. And we also got bread. Woo Here is my three cheese ravioli sans mushrooms. It smells so delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. Everything's been great so far. 
This is Brandon's chicken piccata. It looks so good. We got this cute little corner table. It was so much fun. We loved it. We got dessert to go. So Brandon got profiteroles filled with ice cream. And I got this delicious peanut butter pie with Oreo crust. So excited. We're gonna eat it on the balcony. Friends, that is day one here in Stowe, Vermont. Yes. So much fun, so much fun. What'd you think about dinner? Oh, dinner was top notch, excellent. I do not know which was best. If it was the appetizer, if it was the main course, or if it was the dessert. All of them were like a thousand out of 10. Yeah, it was good. If you can go to Harrison's, go to Harrison's. Even if you cannot get a reservation, still go to Harrison's. See if they'll put you on the wait list for outside, and then maybe if you get a last minute cancellation, you can go inside as yes. well. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part of today, I think, was definitely the farm. Um, we saw a lot. It was so beautiful. Um, Oh, and, and, and the bridge that we took a picture in front of, that was so much fun. Yeah, we that did was great. so much today. We were just talking about how today was like a travel day. Yeah, tomorrow's like our actual day. Technically. Today but, was just like bonus yeah, travel. But like today turned out to be such a fantastic day. Any last minute thoughts? We hope you guys enjoyed coming with us to Stowe. Yes. Of course, it's not really Disney related or cruise related, but. It was it, tons of fun and we hope you liked it. It's an adventure. <laughs> um, it certainly was. Yeah. So definitely hope you guys enjoyed, learned something. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Have you ever been to Stowe? Yeah. Or just New England in the fall. Yeah. Or what is your favorite thing to do in the fall yeah. around where you guys live? Yeah. Let us know. So with all that, we're going to wrap things up. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys. And travel adventures. Yeah. And tomorrow's day two, so stay along for that. Yeah. Until the next video. Bye.